Hi, um, I'm Mary Esther Malloy, uh, an NBC teacher in New York City, and this is my daughter, Neve. And uh, Christy had asked me to say a few things about our experience partnering. So as I was going through the NBCP training, it had not been on my mind at all to partner with somebody. And then at a certain point as I finished, I just got a sense of clarity and I reached out to Christy. Uh, Christy got back to me reminding me that years and years ago, a home birth midwife we know in common had actually suggested that she and I team up. Uh, so I took that as a positive sign and, you know, we had some good conversations and we decided to teach a September series. And for me, starting teaching MBCP, it felt uh, just like a much safer start uh, to have a partner who had experience with the curriculum. And as I think back to that first series, my, um, <laughs> my, um, my memories are what? Well, I certainly... No, it was a time of adjustment for me. I have been had been teaching a, a mindfulness informed childbirth class series in uh, New York City for 15 years. So for me, there was a lot of adjusting to this curriculum and saying goodbye to some aspects of my own curriculum I was attached to and doing a lot of that work. And so Christy kind of had to put up with that. <laughs> um, I, I learned so much from her and I was, as I was doing this um, first series, I was just so clear. I was putting in so much work to prepare for each class, but without Christy there, it would have been double or triple, I felt. Um, and instead I got to learn aspects of the curriculum and kind of how it goes um, from uh, the lived experience of it, rather than kind of thinking it through muddling through, readjusting, learning, uh, you know, there was thinking and strategizing and Christy could really explain her experience with different aspects of it and why it worked, why this was, didn't work. Um, and, and, and then just get to experience it. So that, that was really, really helpful. It's just saved me a lot of time in terms of getting up to speed. Um, and, I mean, so some of the challenges of partnering together is, um, I would say, there just definitely been a number of times when um, I did have a certain vision where I thought it should go a certain way, again, based on my history of, of teaching a, a version of this. And I would let go and Christy would do it her way and I would just be struck by the beauty of it. And it, it, like time and again, it has been so expanding um, when I come up against a sense that it really shouldn't be a certain way. Um, so I've hugely appreciated that. And I would say one area that has been for sure a real strength of partnering is in the marketing and outreach. I think that's a place where maybe some people really excel, but for many others, I think we just kind of feel alone in our efforts. And so combining, I think what Christy and I have found is that we complement each other pretty well. And there are places where she has no fear <laughs> where I do, and I am able to accomplish other things that are challenging for her. Um, I'm thinking of, um, uh, our series in the winter, we were, before it started, we were approached by a local uh, OB anesthesiologist who's very into mindfulness and <laughs> doing research and teaching at a local hospital. And he got in touch with us about auditing the class, or maybe he just got in touch with us, I think. And um, anyhow, I felt kind of uh, not sure what to do with it and a little frozen. And Christy just got on the phone with him and struck up a nice relationship and invited him to audit the class. And he did. And it, it was a very great experience to have him there. And, um, and I, around that same time, I remember I blasted out a, a letter about what we were doing to all New York City area um, MBSR teachers. And I remember Christy saying at the time that she felt um, that that was something that would have been hard for her to do. So just even that, and we've done hours and hours of brainstorming and drafting things. And um, I, I feel like that has been, um, like we are able to make more of a presence in New York City by being a team than if, each of us were sort of laboring alone. And so that 
feels really good. Um, and I mean, just in terms of the teaching, yeah, I, I continue to learn so much from her. I appreciate the way we prepare for the class and think about the intentions and points to undermine, <laughs> underline and all that. And um, one of the ways that we are getting ready to teach now over Zoom is we'll meet um, for about a half hour before the class starts, go over the basic plan, you know, places. I mean, we will have previously met to go over the basic plan, but then right before class starts, we touch base again. And then we will um, listen to one of Nancy or Luna's short meditations as a way to get to know them and just do a little practice before class starts. That feels really nice as well. Um, and then of course the debrief after, you know, there's a lot of learning that happens when you get to think back through what you did and what went well, what was a challenge, what could be done better. And I feel like there are definitely a number of areas where our thinking together after um, really saved us repeating mistakes or repeating things that could be more skillful, we'll say that. Um, and I mean, more than anything I say, I think we're having a lot of fun together and um, you know, I always will say in my childbirth classes, there's something about not being alone with the work of labor. And I think there's something about not being alone with the work of teaching about labor and teaching mindfulness. Um, it has been a very, very rich experience to partner with Christy.